Okay, I'm going to show you this program called TCP Dump. It's been around forever, and it will it will be around forever. It's a very clever little program, and shows you what's happening at the TCP level on your server. I'm just going to show you a couple of things you can do with TCP Dump. Right now, I'm on one of my web servers. The one that I use for SeanWazir.com. And here it is. It's got a few things on it. A couple of my games. Other little things and bits and pieces. And things that I write about every now and then. I'm on that server right now. And I've got TCP dump running. And I'm just looking at all the different traffic that's coming in and out of the server. Stop that. Have a look at that. So the program is simple. It's just TCP dump. And if you have a Linux server, you probably have it. And do that. To test if you have it, just type TCP dump on your server. And it should, should start telling you. And let's look at some of the options that you can do with TCP dump. I can look at what interfaces I have just by typing minus D capital D. And I can say I've got an Ethernet 0, any, and low. I can look at any of those interfaces more specifically just by typing minus I and 1, for example, or 2 or 3, or even the name um, which we saw before, which is F0. I can type any, or I can type LO, and it just says listening on low. Or listening on listening on any but I'll just leave that deep default I don't need to set it yeah we'll also look, look at look at host names here so right now I'm running in default we can see that the host names are being resolved I can turn that off by typing minus n like so and now I just get IP addresses with a port number. I can also show the packet contents by adding a large X. Like that, we can look at information if I just freeze that for a second. Now I can look at um, specific kinds of packets as well. So for instance, ICMP. That's the when you do a ping, it's ICMP packets that get sent to your server. So I'll just do that. I'm gonna have a command prompt in Win Windows and just type in ping shawmozia.com. And there we go, we can see for every ping that is sent, there is a, there is a re request response written out, request and reply. ICMP. We can actually look at the contents of that of those IPM ICMPs by putting in a minus uppercase X. Let's go back and look at that again. There we go. That's the contents of the ping packet. Let's have a look at that here. So it's just a bunch of letters mostly. Some of the other things that we can do with TCP dump are that we can limit it to just port numbers. So let's have a look at, say, port 80. That's the standard web port for websites. And port 80. So now we're looking at all the traffic on port 80. Now we're going to look at port 22. And this is the SSH port that I'm using to actually be logged onto my server. So right now I'm seeing all the SSH um, packet information and if I do port 25 I can see whether or not any mails are being sent through the SMTP server doesn't look like anything's happening right now one another interesting option is is the minus C so I can capture just pack uh, 50 packets, for example, like that. 
and then it will stop so after 50 packets it will just automatically stop like that I could also get those 50 packets or get capture another 50 packets and actually write it to a file called test.cap this is going to capture 50 packets in the background and write it to a file called test.cap when that's finished it will just stop that's captured 50 packets now I can replay those packets if I just do that minus R that were the packets that I just captured looking at something a bit more specific with TCP dump and more specific to TCP itself I can actually capture different kinds of TCP packets such as acknowledge synchronize reset fin let's we'll just look at a few of those now so TCP 13 that's the 13th byte in the packet and 32 it's not equal to zero that will show me all the erg packets the urgent packets but actually there isn't going to be any so let's cancel that let's look at 16 these are all the ACK packets so every time there's an ACK it's drawing this out and acknowledge let's look at 8 which is a push packet there'll be a few pushes yep you can actually see the P written there as well let's look at uh, byte 4 or bit 4 which is the reset packet no, there's not very many of those uh, let's look at 2 which is a synchronize let's look at 1 which is a fin the finish packet Let's look at the SYN ACK packet, which is an 18. And let's just turn that filter off and look at all of them again. What we can also do is look at the contents of the packet uh, and filter them so at the moment so what I'll do is press minus a and that will show me the the ASCII of the packet that is that is being transferred to and from it's a lot of information being drawn there so I'll stop that but if I want to look at say just packets with get in the header I can type grep minus e get this will show me all the get packets HTTP get packets and I'll just trigger a few Okay, so there we go. That was from my webs, uh, from my browser on, my, on the other page. I'll do that again. So that was another couple of gets there. If I visit another page, I'll see another get. Another get. I can also look at um, post if I want, for example. Every time somebody posts data to the page I can actually read read that down here and I can see that now that somebody's posting data to the login page now this looks to me like a some kind of brute force going on I mean it's very very slow and they're never actually gonna, gonna achieve it but I'm not going to be too bothered about that. Look at that. Good luck to them. You think it's so slowly. 
You're never going to get through. Anyway, my sight's not that amazing. Okay, let's just stop that. Now, um, another cool feature is I might want to look at how many iPhone clients there might be looking at my website. So I can search. Um, So I can search the ASCII for the word iPhone, which actually is part of the user agent header. So there we go. I'm just refreshing my website. I'm on my iPhone right now, and I can uh, see a whole bunch of requests for my iPhone. Let me just do that again. There we go. Done that again. Or the user agent. Mozilla 5 iPhone CPU iPhone. Now all that just from TCP dump. It's very clever. <laughs>